viewers this is Sarim Khan back with a new question on kinematics for JEE mains and today's my question ask us to us that a ball released from a rest from the roof of a building of height 45 meters at t equals to 0 find height of ball from ground at t equals to 2 seconds first option 10 meters then 20 meters 25 meters and our last option is 30 meters we have to solve this question so first of all this question asks us to us that imagine we have any roof of height 45 meters then at the top of the roof or at the top of the building okay of uh, from the roof any particle is okay any ball is present that is just released and when it is released so at t equals to 0 imagine at t equals to 0 we are releasing the particle and I imagine after 2 seconds at t equals to 2 seconds the ball comes here so what is the what is the height of the ball from the ground this is the question asked us to us 10 or 20 or 25 or 30 30 in SI units means meters this we have to solve so since this problem is very easy only will be trying to apply the same uh, our equations of motion in this why because it is also for say, uniform motion because acceleration due to gravity is always uniform always constant then here's what is second equation of motion s is equals to ut plus half at square this is the second equation of motion so according to this imagine i am saying to you do not try to find out the distance covered in hole or do not apply for the hole means from uh, when it will reach the ground a uh, ladder have uh, so much distances it will cover so 45 is equals to 1 by 2 such we do not need to do only what will be doing imagine i am saying to you that from t equals to 0 to t equals to 2 seconds i am trying to apply this equation just like in this t value i am putting okay two seconds why i am doing such because if we have to find out the distance covered in two seconds imagine i am saying first of all we will try to find out the distance covered in two seconds after that we'll move to our next step just like i am writing s is equals to what initial velocity is zero everybody know it is released from rest from top of a uh, okay roof so initial velocity is zero zero into t that is zero so half minus gt square we can call it minus gt square but since we know that the here displacement is towards okay negative direction so let us take this downward direction on as positive or if you want then you can call the minus displacement it is downward direction that is negative direction so minus s is equals to what minus gt square minus gt square put the values in this we can easily put the values so minus g into minus 10 okay g value into 2 square that is 4 this will be cancelled in 5 times which is equals to minus 20 meters implies that the minus s is equals to minus 20 meters okay s is and s cancelled implies that the s is equals to 20 meters means in 2 seconds when the ball is released from the roof it covers 20 meters just in 2 seconds it will cover 20 meters means this height this height is 20 meters you can uh, you can try to find out this height okay just just with Galileo trick also you can easily find out okay just like Galileo trick you will apply in one second it covers five meters everybody know then in second second three into five that is 15 meters so five plus 15 20 meters or if you feel this method more suitable by this you can find out that s is equals to 20 meters then this we got this height is 20 meters this whole height is 45 meters then we need this height let this height be h dash then we have to find out the value of h dash not this 20 meters or 45 meters we have to find out the distance or height of the ball from the ground at t equals to 2 seconds means from the ground at this 2 seconds what is its height since we can see here that we can also write that 20 20 plus 20 meters plus plus h dash is equals to what 45 meters why it is such because this and this this height plus this height makes this whole height of course h dash value we did implies that the h dash is equals to 45 meters minus 20 meters which is equals to what which is equals to 
25 meters so h dash value what we got 25 meters and what is h dash h dash is actually the distance or the height of the ball from the ground at t equals to 2 seconds what we had to find out first option in this is 10 meters that is totally wrong second is 20 meters that is also wrong third is 25 meters that is matches to our solution so this option is totally correct and fourth is 30 meters so this is also wrong so this is our question number first in this video now let me first of all erase this rub this and later we'll try to solve the question number second so this is our question number second in this video that asks us to us that a ball falls from rest under gravity. The distances it covers during each successive seconds are in ratio of 1 is to be 3 is to be uh, 1 is to be 2 is to be 3 is to be 4 B is 1 is to be 5 is to be 9 is to be 13 C is 1 is to be 5 is to be 7 is to be 9 and our D is 1 is to be 4 is to be 7 is to be 11 and dot 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 okay so this we have to reply whether which option is the correct ones so this also the, if we want this we can solve using two methods first can be just like Galileo trick you can easily apply and directly in one second you can just tell to the answer or you can apply the equation for snth that is u plus gt bracket okay g by 2 bracket 2 and minus 1 okay bracket close that is the equation so first of all let's try to do it by galileo trick okay what is galileo trick of course it tells what if we have any height okay and even this height any particle is present then if we are putting the particle under the action of gravity means under the action of gravity it starts falling down then what will happen if in one second in one second it covers x distance then in two seconds it will cover 3x distance in three seconds it will cover 5x distance in 4 seconds it will cover 7x distance and like this okay along with x which our uh, terms will be that will be going as the all odd natural numbers up to infinity means since we know 1 is odd natural number then 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21 like this according to the odd natural numbers it goes okay its distance is covered per okay per second so here it tells that in 1 second x distance so according to this we can easily find out the ratio because in one second how much it covers x and what is the value of x x is equals to 5 meters easily everybody know that any particle under the action of gravity if it falls so it covers 5 seconds in first second of course everybody know how because s is equals to ut plus half at squared okay according to this initial velocity is 0 so half at squared then that is half into 10 into t squared into 1 that is into 1 squared so that will come 5 meters then if we want then we can also find out uh, for second second then the next value 3x is equals to what 3 into x means 15 meters okay this we have letter 5x is equals to what this 5 into 5 25 meters letter after that 7x 7x is equals to what 35 meters means in one second how much distance it covers for one second it covers five meters for second second uh, for second second we can call it covers 15 meters third second it covers 25 meters and the fourth second it covers 35 meters so much it covers like this in this ratio if we want then can we find out of 1 is to be 2 is to be 3 is to be 4 okay only of distance is not by taking the tan so that will come 5 is to be 15 meters is to be 25 meters is to be 35 meters of course and dot 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 because here many distances maybe many distances it will cover maybe from any very large tower it is just uh, the particle is getting thrown like this so here 5 can cancel this in 3 times here this it will cancel in 5 times and 7 times which is equals to what 1 is to be 3 is to be 5 is to be 7 dot 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 like this this is that ratio what is our answer since we know it is 1 is to be 3 is to be 5 is to be 7 okay so since according to this what we can see that c is our correct answer actually according to this so here c is our 
टू की हियर इट शुड बी सच वन इज टू बी थ्री इज टू बी फाइव इज टू बी सेवन नाउ हियर लाइक दिस वी कैन मूव इट फॉर द ओके डॉट 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 सो सी ओके सी इज अवर करेक्ट आंसर हैंस ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट वॉन्स और इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो ट्राई इट बाई सेकेंड मैथड बाई अप्लाइंग द इक्वेशन ऑफ एस एन एथ ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ लेट्स ट्राई बाई दैट ओके सो एस एन एथ इक्वेशन विल अप्लाई वॉट इज दैट इक्वेशन दैट एस एन इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस जी बाई टू टू एन माइनस वन इन ब्रैकेट ओके दिस इज दैट इक्वेशन ऑफकोर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इनशियल वेलॉसिटी नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सेकेंड देन सेकेंड सेकेंड दन देन थर्ड सेकेंड फोर्थ सेकेंड लाइक दिस विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट एंड विल फाइनली फाइंड आउट देयर रेशियो सो फॉर फर्स्ट सेकेंड first second what is it since we know initial velocity this equation i am doing more simpler for this problem that will happen it will happen 5 times 2 and minus 1 its values are same i have made it more simple because initial velocity is zero okay then is zero okay since we know it is released from rest g by 2 is 5 in this case of course it is 5 10 by 2 5 so 5 times 2 and minus 1 in this we have to put values so for first what will the value come of course we can see that is 5 times 2 bracket 2 and minus 1 bracket close then for say se first second it will come 5 meters in first second it covers 5 meters in second second it will cover so 5 now 5 times the bracket 2 into 2 minus 1 then that will be 15 meters in third second in third second uh, we can again evaluate so 5 times okay bracket 2 into 3 minus 1 so that will happen 25 meters okay and in fourth second it will cover just according to this given equation it will cover 35 meters this we can put okay this is for first second third fourth now find out its ratio okay implies that the 5 meters ratio 15 meters ratio 25 meters is to be 35 meters this is this will be cancelled in one times to itself 3 and 5 and this will be 7 which is equals to what 1 is to be 3 is to be 5 is to be 7 and dot 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 we can apply okay this is 1 is to be 3 is to be 5 is to be 7 dot 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 hence option number c is the correct answer so either you can also apply galileo trick in this or if you want then you can also use this method of the equation of snth so those are the two ways so this was my today's topic based over the questions of kinematics that is just for vertical motion okay motion under gravity so thank you